Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is doing well. Hope everybody had uh, a good uh, day of trading. Uh, if you are brand new to the channel, guys, all we ask is take a moment, uh, take a second of your time, uh, click a like, support the channel, subscribe, share, uh, and all of that good stuff. So let's talk about the tape. Um, if you've been watching uh, or with me for uh, 14 years that I've been uh, hosting this platform or just, just watching and participating through the YouTube channels, the one thing I, I always kind of remind everybody is how irrelevant all of us are, okay? Um, the idea that somebody knows for a fact, for a fact that something's going to happen the next day is absolutely crazy. That's why I don't try to make any predictions. I don't try to think where the stock is going to be a week from now, a month from now, a year from now, what its EBITDA, uh, EBITDA uh, free cash flow is for 2097 for the next Olympics. Our job is to figure out what's going to happen tomorrow. That's it. And if you've been following along, uh, we, we kind of know, you know several things happen uh, in the last couple of weeks that we were prepared for. Uh, the market lost its whole range here on the 50-day moving average and had a very, very aggressive move down. Uh, yesterday, we had an inside day, didn't take out the highs, didn't take out the lows. So my plan for today was, well, let's see. Is it possible, like I said in last night's video, is it possible for, for us to have another double inside day or is the market going to make a move, right? When I mean make a move in either direction. Again, that's the whole point, being prepared uh, on both sides of the market. And to my, you know, I, I will admit to one thing. I, did I believe we were going to have uh, a 1.5% run-up today on the NASDAQ 100, uh, reclaiming back the 5 and 50-day uh, five and, uh, EMA? Probably not. I don't think that was on anybody else's uh, bingo card, but we always know there is a rhyme and reason sometimes that the bulls just happen to wake up. And I forgot who it was. I apologize. In the webinar, somebody brought up a great, great point. On October 26th, and for, for whoever it was, I, po I promise you, I'll, I will acknowledge you tomorrow. I will acknowledge you on the next video. I just don't remember who it was. But if you guys remember, on October the 26th, right, the last time we lost the 50-day moving average, we also had a decline of five, six, seven point, seven days in a row. And the next day, like we had yesterday, we had an inside day followed by another inside day, followed a, by a really good rally to reclaim back the 50-day moving average only to go on a massive, massive run uh, for the next year. So if you fast forward, right, fast forward kind of where we are today, you kind of see you know, similarities to that, right? You lost the 50-day, down six days, the seventh day was an inside day, and today we rallied. Look, is it possible that was the bottom? Who the hell knows? That's, all, that's for water cooler talk. That's for social media talk. If it was, if it was, if it wasn't, if it, if it wasn't. But our point is every single day to, trade, to take the next day at fair value, right? Get ready for the next day. And today, um, I came in today, um, I had some longs that I was watching, some shorts I was watching, and then the market gapped up. And unlike yesterday's session, the market gapped up above previous day's highs on a certain number of stocks. And you started saying to yourself, oh, wait a minute. Well, the day before, you only had one stock who gapped above the previous day, or at least went above the previous day, and that stock was Google. If you look at this morning, right, you had AMD above the previous day's highs. You had uh, NVIDIA above the previous day's highs. You had Google above the previous day's highs. You had Microsoft gap in the previous day's highs. And you said to yourself, well, wait a minute, maybe this is different. Maybe there, there actually is a, a rally potential for today's session, and that's exactly what happened. If you look at the day, uh, and we'll get to the pivots in a second, if you look at the day, 
Uh, the Qs reclaim back the 422.75 level, which was also the five day. If you are brand new to trading or brand new to this channel, uh, the five day for me represents uh, a shortest term sentiment. Whoever has control of the five day probably has control of that short term move. And you can see here, uh, ever since we lost the, the 50 day moving average, it kept on getting rejected off the five day. You see this orange line? Rejected off the orange line, rejected off the orange line, rejected off the orange line. And today we reclaim it. And this is now the highest close in the last seven days. Again, it's not uh, a, a signal that was definitely the bottom, but at least it now represents at least a possibility, right? That we have a tradable dead cat bounce all the way to this 429, 430 level, which would roughly be the 10 day supply. Again, does that mean that we're going to get there? This is not a new instant to get there. Well, this is what the bulls need to do. Bulls need to build them on today's channel. Bears need to get back into control, lose today's bottom channel to start moving this way back. The only problem is on the bear case today, and again, anything's possible going into tomorrow's session. Number one, we had a great rally, and we had a great rally today based on leaders, right? And that was the key. The NVIDIA's of the world, that was very, very important. Because if you guys remember, once the semiconductors lost uh, the 50-day moving average, right? We had a really, really big move down, just like with everybody else. And these are all the levels uh, that we continue to, to uh, conquer. And also today, you had the start of, I, I know technically it was, it was a couple of days ago with Netflix. Okay, well, let's use Netflix. But today was day two. And today you had uh, Tesla after hours. And I, I tweeted this out on my regular Twitter account, right? Let me, let me just go, let me see if I can just... Nah, I can't go back to my Twitter account. If you go, if you go into my Twitter account, let me see if I could do it this way. And, and again, it was a joke. It wasn't meant to be anything serious. I wasn't trying to predict what's going to happen on on Tesla's earnings. Um, but yeah, so this is what I tweeted out four hours ago. Completely tongue in cheek, right? I just have this weird feeling that Tesla's earnings are going to be so bad that the stock is going to rally 10%. And the reason why the reason why I said that was because well, number 1 the stock was down about 40%, a little 41% uh going into the quarter. Like I said in last night's video, there was zero faith. Zero faith uh in in Tesla going into this quarter. Uh, I believe what I read this was the <laughs> the worst earnings quarter since 2012. And da 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 the stock is surging after hours up about uh, 7%. Look, this is where, you know, this is where people waste the majority of their afternoon fighting over, uh, you know, fighting over this news uh, outcome with total strangers on the internet. What do you mean the stock is a bottom? Say it's bad news. It should go lower. Your stock sucks. It should go to 100. Okay. Right. It, it, look, you, you have a better chance. You have better chance uh, to convince me that, that my mother-in-law is a human being than the Antichrist than being right of an earnings call. Look, the market is irrational. The market is abnormal. It would always be like this. There's no such thing as rationality when it comes to trading. There's no such thing as rationality when it comes to earnings. But again, once in a while, it's a guess. It's tongue in cheek, and as I joked around. Log into your OnlyFans account, only only Dan's account, excuse me, and I, I will be predicting and guessing the rest of the quarter's uh, earnings releases. Obviously, uh, that was a joke. So look, if the weekend hold today's gains going into tomorrow, and tomorrow we obviously have Meta uh, reporting earnings on Thursday. We have Microsoft, Intel, and Google. Let's take it day by day, right? That's the best way to say it. Let's take it by day by day. If the queues could reclaim and start building. Uh, above today's channels tomorrow. Look, I, I think there's at least a shot, a punch, a puncher shot uh, that we can get into this 429, 430 supply. We are nowhere out of the woods. Uh, like I said, like like for example, we we had the video today, uh, both on a natural pivot on a really good bounce, and I said the only way I'll take the video overnight is we were above the 50 day moving average. I, you know, again, you just can't take it with supply. Obviously, the stock is gapping up to two three dollars. Uh, after the close, but risk goes back on. Overnights go back on when we reclaim back the 50 day. So we will see in the next day or so is was this actually the bottom on 419 or was this a debt cat bounce, tradable, tradable debt cat bounce into the 10 day supply? And we'll see what happens. 
uh, after that. So let's talk about uh, today's pivots. Uh, again, once we saw, like yesterday, for example, NVIDIA, uh, 801 was the high yesterday. It gap up today to 81020s, uh, 81020s pre-market. So the first move on, on NVIDIA, you know, it was like three, four bucks. It came in and then it just absolutely exploded, right? Exploded into the uh, 826, 827 level. Uh, we got the balance on that move. Okay, we got the balance literally from that 815, 816 level that went back to 826, which was great. Uh, but it really does show you how sometimes the market just switches on a dime. It's just not going to uh, let you keep your fixated bias. Okay, it's always there uh, to reward the trader who trades both sides of the market that you're not pinned into an opinion or you're entitled to price action comes along. And that's really what happened today. And you can see here, uh, NVIDIA, really good move here right now. Stock is trading around 829 uh, after hours. Google, uh, 5764 uh, needs to build. Here was Google, right? Took out the 5764, uh, went to 59. This thing's close to taking out that uh, recent uh, April highs, which is kind of amazing considering the stock uh, didn't go down. We knew this market was going to start getting legs when the SPY reclaimed back the 65-day supply. 502.40 uh, needs to build on the SPY. Here is the SPY, right? So got back above the 502.40, which was uh, the 65-day supply and traded right to the 10-day moving average, nearly uh, getting to that 506 level. So big, big move uh, on the SPYs as well. And AMD, you know, AMD was kind of weird today. So I got long AMD. You know, we traded some, you know, we traded some bounces on uh, NVIDIA. We caught, you know, caught a cash flow move on Tesla on the upside today. But NVIDIA, uh, AMD was a little weird. Uh, 5230 rejected three times needs to build. So it went to 53, came back in. I got long at 53. There must have been a seller there literally all day because they couldn't clean them up. Let's keep an eye on it again for tomorrow in case we do rally, in case they do uh, clean up that seller. But, you know, nice little pop there, nothing crazy. Uh, Tesla, this was the big one here, guys. Congratulations for all you guys. I already got several emails. Uh, here's the ranges, right? This was the ranges into earnings, 152.20 to the upside, uh, 138.80 to the downside. And you can see as Tesla continues to surge uh, after the close, took out the 52.20, I traded all the way up to 59. Tomorrow, we'll obviously be watching this thing uh, into depth, dips, but that's the whole point. You have to know both levels. So you can't just turn around and go, I think Tesla's going to 40. Well, I think Tesla's going to 200. Who cares what you think? I mean, not that, you know, and I say that respectfully, right? Who cares what you think? Who cares what I think? Okay, price action is price action. Supply is going to get cleaned up and stock is going to go higher or demand is going to clean up and stocks are going to go lower. The fact that you're spending your whole afternoon in beautiful 65 degree weather, at least here in New Jersey, spending your whole afternoon debating with some schmuck on social media who you're never going to see ever again, you're never going to speak to ever again, that you are right. Right? Completely ridiculous. Save your time. Save, save your energy. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Say it louder for the people in the back. Nobody cares. Right? Stock is either going to go up or it's going to go down. Here was the bounce we were talking about on NVIDIA. We had a perfect, perfect bounce. First move came back into the 60-minute supply. It held that 815, 816 level, and the stock right now is trading uh, at 830. That's it, guys. That's it. Tomorrow, we got Meta. Uh, let's see. You know, Let's see if the market has one more day of upward bias. You had Visa after the close uh, that had a good quarter. Uh, you had Texas Instruments, obviously, helping out the semiconductors, had a good quarter. Hell, even Mattel, right? Even Mattel popped up. So we'll see. You know, we'll see. Again, take it day by day, trade by trade. Uh, be open-minded, right? Be absolutely open-minded to the long side, to the short side. And that's how you extend your career. Because if you box yourself in, in an opinion, and you believe that stock has to do what you think, you're going to have a really, really harsh reality and a very, very tough time uh, navigating uh, week in, week out, and year in, year out. Guys, have a great night, everybody. Stay blessed, and I will see you all tomorrow.